Hi there, Joe Crawford, chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer here. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how to add global connections within the Snatchbot platform. Global connections are key words or inputs that users can type in at any point of the conversation with the bot and be led to predetermined destinations, such as starting over or accessing the main menu. In our previous video, we used the persistent menu to do this. However, many platforms such as Twitter or Skype do not allow you to create a persistent menu. So you have to give your users text-based inputs that they can enter at any point to navigate throughout the bot. We use these so that people don't get stuck in one part of the conversation and leave because they can't get to where they want to go to access that critical information that they're looking for. So let's get into it. I'm going to use the Jobot, so I'll select Settings here. Global connections can be found right at the top, so we'll select that. And you'll see a few are already in place from when we created the persistent menu. Now, like most things with Snatchbot, it's extremely easy to set up a global connection. We'll simply select Add Collect Connection, and then it's the standard if-then statement that drives Snatchbot. And in this case, we want to be able to give users a command that will send them back to the start at any point. So we'll say restart. And then it will go to hello. Now make sure we press enter. Now what Snatchbot can actually do is look for other synonyms of the word that you've entered so that it makes sure that it catches exactly what you want. In this case, we don't actually need it because we'll be sure we tell the user right up the start that they can restart by entering restart. So we'll select no. And that will save our command here. Now, one thing to make sure you don't have on if you select persistent menu is disabling text input. That just would stop users from being able to actually enter anything. So we wanna make sure that that box isn't clicked. So with our new global connection started up, let's go over and give it a shot, testing it within the actual platform. Let's click over to channels. We'll go to messenger. And we'll open it up. And let's go to our last one here. It's hours. Pull that up. And that'll restart us from here. All right, I want to see location. It's navigated, but now they'd want to restart. So we'll simply enter restart, send, and back to the start. So you can see from here how easy it is to set up these global connections. You want to avoid using any word that's too common so it doesn't trip up the bot if someone enters it somewhere else. But like most things with Snatchbot, it's extremely easy to set up and to test. So you can get your bot rolling within the same day that you start it. That's all for me today. Thank you very much. Be sure to subscribe and look forward to seeing you at our next video.